Hey y'all, it's Bill Thompson here with a Live After 55, and I am excited that the holidays are coming up. They're just about here. Thanksgiving is only days away, and most of us can't wait to be with families and friends, and we celebrate at one party after another. But if you're like me, I typically gain between 10 and 12 pounds from November to January. And that period covers my birthday and two other family members, our anniversary, Christmas, New Year's, not to mention all the celebrating that happens in between. You know, obesity is a huge health issue here in America. With a few little tweaks to how we do things, we don't have to be a statistic ourselves. Now, some of you know I'm a personal trainer with the National Association of Sports Medicine. But what you may not know is I also just became a certified nutrition consultant with them also. I am very serious, obviously, about health and feeling good. I think we would all agree with the crazy last few years that we've had, health does equal wealth. So here are four tips to keep us from gaining those 10 to 12 pounds this holiday season. Number one, be more thoughtful about what you're eating. Obviously, right? You're going to have a feast at Thanksgiving. Try smaller portions of mashed potatoes or stuffing. Maybe don't do seconds on them if you do seconds on them normally. Eat all four food groups. Don't leave out fruits and vegetables as most of us do on Thanksgiving. If, if there's fruit side dishes that have whipped cream and whatnot, try getting an apple, try getting a slice of pineapple, something that's just gonna be pure fruit if you can do it. Try eating more turkey and less carbohydrates. Bring your own healthier side dish or your own healthier uh, dessert. That'll work too. Don't eat every dessert as I used to do. I, I, I love sweets and I used to try every single dessert out there. Pick your favorite and you know what? I, I'm bringing an apple pie that I'm making from scratch, a deep dish. That's probably what I'm gonna do with a scoop of ice cream. But you know, just again, choose your desserts and don't do these desserts after six or seven at night. Number two, drink more water. There was a doctor that once said, you aren't sick, you're thirsty. You know, you, you can figure that out if you pinch your skin and it doesn't bounce back. That's just one easy way to see if you are dehydrated. But most of us need more water. And one way to figure out the water, how much you need is this. I'm 170 pounds. Multiply that times two thirds and that comes out to 113 ounces of water I need to be drinking every day. Now. If I'm exercising, that changes it a bit. If I'm exercising, I need to actually, for every 30 minutes I exercise, I gotta add 12 ounces. But here's a hack for you. You know, that may sound like a lot of water, but do this, before every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, throughout these next coming months, drink two cups of water. That's 16 ounces, and on a daily basis, that's 48 ounces of your quantity that you're supposed to be drinking. What that does is this, you're, a lot of us aren't even hungry, we're thirsty. So that, that takes away some of the edge of what you're, you're needing or what you think you need for your body. Try to drink less alcohol or none at all. Talk about calories, guys, and drink less fruit juices. Fruit juices are horribly caloric. So that's another thing we think that's healthy, but man, it adds the calories. Number three is exercise. You know what, exercise can be fun and it doesn't have to be strenuous. I exercise 10 to 15 minutes a day at the age of 60, almost 61. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not rocket science. You just gotta keep things moving and I do a lot of stretches. I do some resistant bands. I do a little cardio. Sometimes I do a little you know, running in the yard. I park out further in parking lots. Uh, I just, I, I choose to keep my body moving. So with, with this, these holidays coming up right now, it's very simple to do a few exercises that are going to change things for you so you don't put on that extra 10 to 12 pounds. You can find 10 to 15 minutes. I know you can do it. Number four, and this may sound strange to some of y'all, sleep. Folks, sleep is so important for your health. Do you know your body's immune system is boosted from you sleeping? 
that increases your your immune system tremendously. How many of us get sick over the holidays because we're not sleeping, there's a virus hanging around, we get the sniffles, we wake up with that sore throat. So just make a conscientious decision right now that you are gonna try to get a little more sleep than normal. Your body rejuvenates while you sleep. Your cells regenerate while you sleep. So maybe some of y'all will join me and we will all together keep that 10 to 12 pounds off our body over these holidays by simply doing these simple things. First of all, be more thoughtful about what you eat. Be careful about what you're drinking, up the water, exercise, and last but not least, sleep. And that's it for now. I, I've had fun talking with y'all today. Let's make it a great last quarter of this year. The last few months, these holidays can be the most fun time of all if we're feeling good and these things are gonna help us feel good and look good. Over and out for now, this is Bill Thompson with Alive After 55. God bless and happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas.